Hello, and today I'm going to be going over uh, part one of a two-part tutorial where we will go over two different requests. The first one is a health bar, so we're going to be making an image and using it as a health bar for our uh, ship underscore worker, and then you can just duplicate the object and change a little bit of code to use it for any unit you have, and I would even change the image to, let's say, from green to red, because I did mine in green, uh, to work as an enemy health bar, which you can do as well. It's pretty much the same thing. You do need a image. Uh, I did mine 16 by 4, and I did it shaded, but I did it in 32 by 16 and then scaled it down because I thought 16 by 32 would be the right shape. I mean, size, it really didn't turn out that way. Uh, I used alpha layering, it makes it look nice. Uh, I advise it. Wait, did I say 16 by 4? I am sorry, I meant 32 by 8. I centered it, and the origin is 16 by 4. Now, the health bar itself uh, is semi-complicated, uh, but it doesn't really use too much new things. Uh, it doesn't use any new functions um, that I haven't gone over before. Uh, we have the code here, left equals instance underscore nearest uh, ship underscore worker dot life. Uh, that's a little new. It takes the nearest ship worker and takes a variable dot life from it and sets it in its own variable left. And then we're just setting the x and y coordinates, as you can see on the screen now. Uh, x is equal to the nearest ship worker dot x, and y equals is equal to the nearest ship worker dot y minus 32, which puts it above the image. If you want to below the image, uh, do plus, and you can change 32 to however many pixels you want the health bar to be away. If you want it to be, to be really close or really far, I wouldn't really go too much above 32, though. Then we have the actual part that makes it a health bar. Transform the sprite. Um, oh wait, I forgot to go over something. Uh, in in the, all the instance underscore nearest functions, if you change ship worker into some other object or instance, uh, it'll start following and getting the variable from that. So just make sure life is pretty much constant, and you can make it for any object just by changing that. And then you can transform the sprite by saying x, uh, we get this little block from main 1, it's the second to the left, well, it's the middle sprite one, uh, all three sprites, it's called transform sprite, and what it does is it scales the sprite, so we're going to scale ours so that x scale, uh, left is equal, Alright, x scale is left divided by 10, 10 of course being the total amount of life we can have, so it creates a ratio and it'll scale it, so it'll decrease it by 1 tenth every time you lose a life. Y scale will keep it 1 because we don't want to change it, and we don't want to do any angling, and we don't want mirroring. So we're all set there. So that's the actual health bar. Now, to get the health bar created, just go to whatever unit you want it to follow, and in create, say instance underscore create and in parentheses x comma y comma health bar underscore worker or whatever you named your health bar for that object. Now uh, I'm gonna quick uh, the the second one involved the uh, fuel resource building and how uh, the health restores itself after coming out of the building. Now on my game, I actually recoded it for the for tutorials. Um, the worker actually stays in the building until you click and it comes out and it will not give you the fuel for whatever click that was it'll just stop working uh, I had to recode it roughly and it doesn't totally work quite white uh, quite right and uh, so it's a little bit off so I'm not gonna be asking you to do the code exactly like I did because I just had to modify it quick and it doesn't really work uh, but the point of getting the health the same works and I'm just gonna modify it right back so you don't it doesn't come off after a certain time it comes out when you click so I'm gonna be modifying that as soon as I'm done with the tutorial which will be in part two but the first part is actually getting the worker to move to the building automatically simply by clicking the building and the way you do that is um in uh, the left pressed event, you say global dot get worker equals one, and then in units ship underscore worker uh, in step event, you s put in an if statement that says uh, where is it? 
if where the hell did I put it? Um, but all right, here it is. Inside, if selected, you put in this thing. If global dot get worker equals one, then global dot des x equals building underscore fuel dot x, and global dot des y equals building underscore fuel dot y. Because I know it was a really, it was at the very beginning of the tutorials, but des x and des y are where the workers want to go, so that works for that. Then moving equals one, and image underscore angle equals point underscore direction, and then in parentheses x comma y comma global dot des x and comma global dot des y. Uh, so we're pointing towards it. We're moving now, and we're going towards the building. So now we just automatically go towards the x and y of the building, and the collision and distance checking will pick it all up. So I'm just going to be showing you that real quick, and then I'm going to be going in part two, uh, how to fix the second request. Um, what else? Uh, sorry I haven't done a tutorial in a while, I've been a little bit busy. Uh, so we're going to play, skip the video. Alright, create a worker. Worker is created. Uh, you can see the health bar. As I hit Q, because I put in this thing, it actually decreases. And we can just click on the building, just normal left click, and hey, it worked. Um, we're good there, and we can then move it around again. Hit Q a little bit more, and then it dies. Because I took away all its health. So, uh, that's it. Uh, that's the health bar. Uh, don't put in the, if you press Q, the worker dies, because it just... That was just for testing and looking purposes. You don't want people to do that, obviously. But otherwise, thanks for watching. Please rate, please comment. I'm doing these tutorials because they were requested, so if you want something request it and it will get around to doing it except for fog of war because fog of uh, I'll explain in my second part but I will not be getting around to doing a fog of war tutorial